Welcome to Webidoo. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to update the textual content of a website and images through Content Management System. The process takes place directly in the browser, so there's no need to download or install anything, and we can access our account from any computer. To start, we log into the system. In the dashboard, we control our website. We can change various settings and, of course, enter the studio in order to change and update content. In my account, we can change the email address associated with this account and the password. In My Sites, we can see our website. Under Title, we can see when the site was last published or not published at all. Here, we can check the inbox, where details filled in forms from our website are stored, view the website, and change the settings. Let's go over the different sections on the Settings window. In general, we can change the site's title, and make the site active or not. In domain and email, we can see the domain name associated with the website. Redirections. If we have an old web page we wish to redirect to any page of our site, we can do it here by typing the old URL and choosing the targeted page of the new site. Services. If using Google Analytics, Google Webmaster Tool, or Google Apps, we can insert their codes here. Clicking here will open the site in the studio. In the studio, we have several areas. In the top, we have a shortcut back to the dashboard, the Pages menu, an Undo and Redo buttons, and an icon to indicate when the site is saved. For all the updates and changes we apply to the website to be active and live, we publish our website with this button. We can publish any time we wish to update or to see the effects of our editing. Here in Content Mode, the site is ready for changes and updates. The elements created in the studio are changeable without disturbing the design. Clicking any of them will activate the design panel and the name of the element will be written on top, like this. By clicking the plus sign or pages, we open the pages and navigation window. Here we control the general settings of each page through the menu. Clicking a page's name will take us to it and open a tab on the top of the canvas for easy navigation. By clicking and dragging, we can change the order of the pages or create subpages. Rolling over, we can see the preferences icons for each page. Let's start with the settings icon. Here we can change the page's title, as it appears at the top of the browser tab, the URL, and the page's name and menu. With the second icon, we can duplicate the page. This way, we can change the pictures and content and make it a whole new page in our website. The last one is SEO. Here we can add a description for search engines and keywords. You can learn more about search engine optimization in a designated tutorial. Lastly, we can completely delete a page. We can also add a new link to the menu. We can choose a menu to include the link, its name, and the link's type. Internal, a link to a page in the website. With this dropdown, we can choose which page. External, Add a URL from an outside link. Anchor. Link to an anchor link if previously defined. The menu is integrated into the pages structure on the website. Adding and deleting pages in Pages and Navigation affects the menu. Now we will learn how to update content. By clicking on an editable picture, the design panel becomes active. Here we can easily replace the image by clicking Change. We can choose a new one from the computer directory. We can also zoom and change the cropping or reset if we are dissatisfied with the results. Set a title, an alt text, or create a link with this dropdown. The types of links are page, link to any existing page, link, link to any external URL we write in this field, pop-up, this option will make the image pop up on click and display the title, anchor allows us to link to any anchor link previously set on the page from this dropdown. By clicking on any text element in the page, we activate the Design Panel, Paragraph Styles window, and the panel above the text. We can delete and type new text while maintaining the original design, or tweak it in the Design Panel. For example, change the weight, font, color, and other aspects. Alternately, we can choose to change the text to one of the existing styles in the Paragraph Styles window, like so. For more detailed changes inside the paragraph, specific words for example, we can use the panel above the text. With the panel above the text element, we can make small character changes. We can insert an image to the paragraph and align it with the text, resize the image, and locate it where desired. Use the text as a link to a URL, 
anchor, email, page, or even a file. A style from the Paragraph Styles window can be chosen, and any link can be set up to open in the same window, a new window, or pop-up. A table can be inserted. Different weights, bold, italic, and underline can be set for a selected part of the text, as well as color. The paragraph can be sorted to bullets or numbers. To reset all of these changes, we can click Remove Format. We can clearly see the text that we are currently changing is marked inside the element, the whole text, or just a part of it. The video element allows embedding a video from YouTube or Vimeo. When clicking on one, in the design panel, we have a field to insert a URL. We can easily change the video this way. The title will be set automatically according to the videos, but we can write something else here if we wish. Now, we have several more options. Autoplay. The video will play automatically when a visitor enters the page. Loop. The video will replay immediately after ending indefinitely. Hide controls. Video control buttons will not display on top of it. In a gallery, multiple images are displayed and can be flipped through. By clicking the arrows, we can flip through the pictures. For each of them, we can edit the text the same way we edit any text element. When clicking a gallery, a Manage option appears in the Design panel. Clicking on it will show all the images in order to edit the gallery window. We can change the order by dragging and dropping, deleting one image, or all of them. We can also upload more images with this button. The Manage window can be opened by double-clicking the gallery as well. An article is a repetitive element. In here we can edit the news feeds or blog posts, for example. Clicking on an article gives us two options in the design panel. We can add new articles. The new article automatically appears first. In Manage, we can change the order and delete items. An article has repetitive elements. When we change the text in these places, it changes for every article. The rest of the elements can be changed individually for each article. A form is meant to collect information from visitors, like contact details or a survey. When we click on a form, here's the unique form area. In here, we can set an email address to receive the filled forms. We can set those email subjects and the name of the sender. After a visitor filled out the form, he can be taken to a link, a page from this website, or an external URL that can be typed here. Alternately, visitors who fill the forms can be taken to a message on page. Clicking the button will take us to the message. We can edit the text like any other text element. The same button takes us back to the form. The form is made of several kinds of fields. All the text here can be changed as well. Any field can be made required and the error message visible or not. In this iframe widget, a site is displayed within our site. We can easily change it by typing a new URL in this field. The HTML widget allows us to insert code and import simple outside elements and features, such as a Facebook Like button, Google Map, or a Twitter feed. We can simply replace the code here and click Update. To see everything we have done and update the current site, let's click Publish. With these simple options, we can change and update the designed sites to our needs through Content Management System. You can check out additional tutorials to learn more about creating and managing websites in the Webidoo Academy video lessons. For any questions, we're always here to help.